Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Dominaria United finally out and it's time to play with the new cards, the new set. It's gonna be fun. And I mean, so many content creators have already put out great content with the early access, you know, and there's just not enough time to watch it all. But um, I did watch Covert Go Blue and Crokies and I just, I'm gonna steal. I'm stealing. I'm gonna go steal their decks and try it out. Anyways, uh, let's check it out. Greetings, fellow Magic the Gathering enthusiasts. I'm Jam Sam, and like I said in that quick little intro, uh, Dominaria United is finally out. We have a new set. There was a full rotation. We said goodbye to a lot of cards. Bye bye, Goldspan Dragon. Bye bye, Runes. And bye bye, Luminarch Aspirant. Those cards are no longer here. Yay, it's about time. Well, anyway, um, today, this is going to be a fairly short video, I think. Basically, I'm really excited about the new set, and as much as I would have loved to have been part of the early access, I think the current time that I'm recording this, I'm at like 67 subscribers. That is nowhere near close to being uh, popular enough to be invited for anything. Well, anyway, um, uh, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Help me put out more content. Anyway, uh, <laughs> um, for today's video, I thought that we need to go back to my roots of why I started making these videos, and it's to become a better Magic player, and we have to understand how good decks work. So we're going to be taking a look at a couple decks that players who are better than me have made. And then in later videos, I'll go into my original take on those decks as well. So there were two specific cards that I was really excited about. One of them, Zur Eternal Schemer, and I really thought it was going to be more of a uh, kind of like a jank deck type of build, but uh, when I was watching Covert Go Blue's live stream on YouTube for his early access to Dominaria United, I was blown away at how good this card can actually be. So here it is. Here's a screenshot I took of Covert Go Blue's stream, and this is his deck right here. And this is what I used, and um, yeah, watch his stream if you want to know how he built it. Here's a video of me playing it. Enjoy! Our opponent is Swind oh, Swindler. Swindler. Alright. So, let's see here. We are on the play. Nope, we are on the draw. Touch the spirit, what realm? Archangel. Right on. We'll turn two, turn three, turn four. Oh, we'll try it. Unfortunately, not realizing that was the Zeotora's proving ground. Um, new animations for the lands, by the way. Um, isn't exactly the best way I wanted to start with pain lands. Oh, but we get our Zer. We don't have blue, do we? No, no blue. Beast Caller. Whenever you cast a creature spell, put a plus one plus one counter. On beast Caller. When Beast Caller dies, it's true. X plus one plus one counters. Okay. Oh, there's our blue. Okay, um. Okay. So, we could either touch the spirit, spirit realm. It's a tough one. You can go for the blue, keep open, make disappear, and leave open uh, the channel ability to touch the spirit realm as well. But I think we want to just get Wedding Announcement started. And just <laughs> do damage to ourselves. Play the blue land next. We need we really need another white source. Okay. 
Johnny. Now, what does a Johnny do? The top card of your library, if it's a creature, I'll put it into you. Otherwise, you may put it in the bottom of the library. Okay, so it was a land. Fiend's Tower helps, but... Hmm. Yeah, we need Rafine's Tower down. Okay. Alright. Our opponent's also having a difficult time with uh, lands. Okay. Every they get another land. Every day more rally to our glorious cause. So I'm assuming they're gonna play out their uh oh, they got another beast caller. Okay, he's all along. Another Desiotaur's proving ground. Alright, so what we can do... Play this out. <laughs> and we just, uh... Yeah. We just have an army of tutus. And we'll just go ahead and get rid of that. That's the one that, uh, yeah. Just, um, pumps all the creatures. Minus three to distribute three plus one plus one counters. They gain vigilance at the end of the turn. If we kill it, the Galagreed essentially becomes a what is it, three, five, five, and with only do four damage. Hmm. I think I think that's all right. Oh, they have a treasure open. Uh, I should have blocked with I should have blocked with 3 there. Another pain land. Though do we Cuz we see we pay black and a red. There's the red. Okay, so we play this. That way it leaves open. Nope. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I did that wrong. Alright, this needs to be white. This needs to be blue. Oh, okay, wait. I guess I didn't have to do it that way. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright. Alright. Uh, choose options. Uh, kicker. Kicker. Uh, here, right there. We have played our text. And uh, see what they can do. Oh, they got a blocker just in time. 
could play Zur. Alright, so if we play Zur, the Spirit of Companion becomes. Uh, obtains Death Touch. So they're gonna be less likely to attack in. Could also. And then we can also use Touch the Spirit Realm to block. And then we can play uh, Paragon. That would require land. Okay, so here's what it is. I do this. Um, next. Well, how much is it? It's one and a white, right? Okay. And then uh, two attack in. So if any of them blocks a the spirit of companion, they die. And turn. Ooh. Okay. See if they attack in. So this might seem strange. But we play Sarah Paragon. And we can play Touch the Spirit Realm from the graveyard. And then we can get rid of their defiler. Or we could just draw it. That's that's the thing we can do. Well Flyer. So they have to block. We can take seven. Man, this Zur Eternal Schemer is just... <laughs> I love it. I do love it. Okay, they have a blocker up top. Masker, okay, yeah. So there you have it. And that was Covert Go Blues Zer the Schemer enchantment deck. Freaking amazing. Um now the other card that I was super hyped on was Joda the Unifier, which apparently I wasn't the only one. A lot of people were hyped about this deck. Um This is Crokey's uh, Legendary Humans deck. I was gonna play one game. I'll be honest. There's, uh, there's two games because the first game was really short and I'll, I'll showcase it. I never really got a chance to showcase this deck that well. Like most of my opponents conceded before I could do anything. But uh, hope you enjoy the videos nonetheless. Let's get to the game. 
Our opponent is Nikki. We are on the play. Sweet. Okay, blue white. Cubans. I think this is a keeper. We'll play this out first. Wait. Okay. For a second there, I couldn't remember if Secluded Courier comes in tapped or not. Uh, humans, humans, humans. Alright, so we're either up against Jund or Five Color. Because I think there's just a lot of Five Color decks out there. And yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a Five Color deck. A lot of, uh... Okay, so what we need is green. So we might be up against a uh, mirror match. Alright, we'll just go ahead and uh, put Denek out there. They have something? Removal? Ah, herd migration. Okay, so they are a domain deck. Okay, could mean that we'll have to try and get this done as quickly as possible. Let's see if they actually put out any threats. No. Do we draw any threats? No. Alright. Um, I don't think that was a very good uh, showcasing of this deck. Uh, we'll play one more game. Our uh, opponent is Utahs. Utahs? Utahs. Okay. It's a lot of land, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, we're on the play. All right, let's let's do this. Um, I think we want blue then white, right? So we'll throw out the uh, coast. Well, I think it's actually better to. We want red. We want red. We we'll play this on. Red. That might seem strange, but little humans. We're gonna take a lot of <laughs> damage from our own lands. Okay, we're up against what well, looks to be cut down. All right, uh, Fiend's Tower. Ooh. Cause of Heroes. This is going to come in tapped if we don't play it now. And that's the problem, right? That's the problem. We need more white than anything else. Um, what was I going to say? We're, so, uh, we're up against Esper. A lot of lands. What? Oh, it's not a human! Okay, I screwed up. Should have played Plaza of Heroes instead of uh, the coast. It's unfortunate. Okay. So they have either a. Um, yeah, counter spell. Okay. That's fine. That means we should be able to get damage in and check, kind of make up for our uh, crazy lands. Alright, so here we go. Jaren Crow the Bishop. Whenever Jaren Crow the Bishop enters the battlefield or another non token human you control dies, you lose one life, create one white, white human. Because you're told. Okay, I think we go for this, but they might just have another. Counter spell. Yeah. 
So maybe they're just a counter tribal. I don't know. <laughs> uh, try again. That resolved really quick. Okay. We have all the colors now? I think so. Alright. Um, <laughs> doesn't look like I'm going to be able to showcase <laughs> exactly what this deck does. But I think most people get the point. It, it's really good. Um, just I haven't been able to go up against a deck that allows me to showcase the deck. Alright, and that was Kroki's Legendary Human deck. And, uh, like I said, sorry they didn't really get a chance to showcase it too well, but, uh, that's just how the games went. Um, and finally, I have a game with my original deck that I'm still working on right now. It's a, it's a straight-up aggro deck, because I... If you're playing best of one, there's going to be a aggro deck that's just gonna dominate, right? And sometimes you just want to figure that out quickly so you can learn to deal with it. I don't want to get into too much detail until I actually finish this deck. So I'm not going to explain too much, just enjoy the game. Hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so this deck is going to... It still has a lot of work to be done, but we'll see how it does. Opponent is Insane PNA. Insane PNA. We go first, which is usually pretty good. But this is kind of a bad starting hand. Ugh. Oof. Oh my god. Alright. Uh Wow. Okay. All right. All right. This is bad, but um we're going to keep it just to I don't I actually don't know. I don't know why why I'm keeping it, but we are should have played a Shattered Sanctum first, actually. That way, if we get a second white source, could have. Okay, if we can get an untapped white source, we can play Adeline next turn. If not, then we'll play Ishing. We'll see. To Horobi. Okay, okay. Unfortunately. I wanted to play Adeline, but. Uh, this works as well. So, yeah, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done on the mana base, I think, with this deck. Um. I just added Adeline in, and I didn't really adjust for the uh, extra white mana. So it's mostly red mana in here, but if I'm going to put Adeline in here, I should probably... Wow. Wow. Ooh. Okay, well... So, let me just go ahead and do that. So he'll get his rats back, but they, they won't be able to really do anything with it. <laughs> oh, are they roping me? Are they getting salty? Yeah, they're roping me. I can kind of understand. So I'll be honest. Uh, when uh, Kamigawa first came out, Echo of Death's Whale was one of the cards that I was kind of excited to try out and see how it would do. And every time I tested it out, yep, it was bad. 
I gave my opponents, like, basically, uh, bodies to attack with, and then, uh, my Echo of Death usually died when it transformed, and yeah, I got the, uh, rats back every once in a while, but it would, um, it, it doesn't untap, right? So, it's always just kind of bad. Um, so I guess, uh, Insane P and A, uh, couldn't handle it? By it, I mean the, uh, you know, Echoes of Death's Whale not working out. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah, so we're just gonna wait and see if they rope. Um, I'll probably, you know, edit this video so that you guys aren't just staring into nothing. Oh, they're back. Did they get disconnected? Did they actually get disconnected? Nope. Yes? No? They're just being salty. So they probably have a removal. Nope, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna let the rope... Okay. Oh, come on. Come on. You doing this on purpose now? Like, just waiting right to the last minute? Yeah. Yeah, they are. Oh, wow. This is this brings a whole new meaning to roping. Now they are literally passing right before timeout passes. Nice. Do I even have a uh, emote for this? If they start roping again. I'm just gonna have the angry Liliana. Yeah, they're just totally... They're roping me, but they're not letting the rope go all the way to the timeout. Good jab. You did a duress thing. God, this guy is just scum. Um, do we want to attack with all three? Yeah. Um, we want to save... The Hedgehog, I think. And they either lose, if, if they want to kill the Bloodthirsty Adversary, they can, but they'll, they'll die. Um, so they have to chump block. I can kind of understand maybe getting angry because um, this game definitely went a very um, Boros, typical Boros way with your, you know, Kumano, Thundering Raiju, and both of your adversary. But, what can I say? Um, that's just the draws that I, I made. There's a lot more cards in here than that, but. And they got rid of my Ishing. That's not cool. So let's see, they could... If they have another untapped land, they could me hook for three. They could do that. God, what? What in the world? Need one more white mana. Yeah, I really need to fix the mana. 
Okay, so now that they're not completely dying, they're actually playing. I don't think it really matters. Oh, they let it go. So, see if they have removal. If not, then. <laughs> yeah. Blood for knowledge. A fair trade. See. If they have. Uh, if their removals are like things like Infernal Grasp, it's not going to help them out too much. They have another um, March of Wretched Sorrow. Oh, another tribute. That's not gonna help them. That's not gonna help you either. It doesn't have haste, so. Okay. I guess they could have blocked that. Yeah, either way. There you have it. And that concludes our uh, gameplay portion of this video and uh, pretty much concludes the whole video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Can't wait to brew a whole bunch of other decks with this new set. Um, there's so many cards. Mono Black just looks crazy. Uh, yeah, there's just a lot. Anyway. Thank you for sticking around this long. I really appreciate it. Hope to see you next time. Remember, have fun playing Magic.